Round three of the 2018 New Zealand Motocross Championship wasn't kind to Team Health and JCA Yamaha. Uh, just noted there a shocking start from Jay Wilson. Uh... MX2 rider Jay Wilson crashed coming through the field after a bad start in Moto1 and wasn't able to continue. Jay Wilson's bike being pushed back, so I'm not sure what happened there, but... Uh... Moto2 saw a much better start from the former Australian and New Zealand motocross champion, but it was short-lived as a crash from early race leader Wyatt Chase left him with nowhere to go. And Wyatt going down, Jay Wilson going straight into the back of him, handing Josh Bartosz the lead. Jay was able to remount and work his way back up to second place, but by the time he'd done so, defending champion Hamish Harwood had pulled out an insurmountable lead. Hamish Harwood carries on his winning ways. And Moto3? Well, that was one of utter devastation for Jay Wilson. He ripped his first hole shot of the year and led the entire moto convincingly, only to suffer a mechanical issue on the final lap that would prove terminal, not only to his engine, but to his championship hopes as well. Looks like something's happened to Jay Wilson. We've lost our race leader. Jay Wilson, something's happened in the Fox rolling section. Jay had come into round three, 33 points down on defending champion Hamish Harwood, and left it 85 points down. 125 rider Maximus Purvis had no such troubles, however, going 1-1-2 on the day and extending his already handy points lead out to 15 points. Here's your man, Mr. Consistent for the weekend, Maximus Purvis. Red plate stays on board. And MX1 rider Kane Lamont appeared to be on form winning the first moto with relative ease. But when the heavens opened up for Moto2, Kane's incredible speed he'd shown throughout the first half of the season seemed to vacate him as he made mistake after mistake and dropped all the way back to sixth. Kane just absolutely made a hash of that corner. Moto3 was much the same as he got off to a good start and then proceeded to make mistake after mistake until a big one saw him drop all the way back to 10th. Over the Fox roller section, oh and Lamont goes down, Lamont's down. After his win in Moto1, Kane's points lead was up to 15 points, but disappointing Motos 2 and 3 rendered him 6 points down on Australian Kirk Gibbs. The volcanic soils of Digger McEwen Motocross Park Taupo would be the battlegrounds for the final round of the 2018 New Zealand Motocross Championship. Yeah, it is. Uh, Max is leading the 125 class, so we want to try and wrap up that title. Um, Jay's sitting in fourth in MX2, we want to get him up onto the podium. Uh, we had a tough weekend with him last weekend, so that's our target for that for him. And with Kane, he's in second, six points off the lead. Our first moto is probably crucial this weekend for him, and we want to get a good first moto under the belt and uh, put himself in a position to claw that six points back and go for the championship. Uh, Best case scenario, we could wrap up two championships and uh, finish third in the other one, which would be fairly successful for us. The early morning atmosphere in the pits was light, but as the mechanics began to prep the bikes for the morning's practice qualifying session and the riders started gearing up, that changed to absolute focus on the task at hand. It was time to set a fast lap time and secure a good gate pick for Moto1. but then the track come around so uh, yeah it should be nice we, we qualified P2 and uh, we're a fair way off the 
off the third, fourth, and fifth place guys. So it's good. We've got some nice times. Um, for me, I'm not a great qualifier, so that puts us in a, a positive um, step for the day. And uh, looking forward to getting this first race under the under our belt. Qualifying went pretty good. I was third, but within half a second and lead, I think. So that's like bugger all and uh, get a good start in all three races, and it'll be pretty challenging to pass. I'd say. Yeah, have you a bike? Yeah, bike training well. Uh, all year it's been going pretty good, and uh, we've been changing here and there, just trying to, to learn the bike a bit more as it's new, and uh, and we're making good changes and, and improving each time we get out there. So nah, the bike's real good this year, and uh, I'm enjoying myself. Awesome. Good luck with Moto One. Cheers, mate. Practice qualifying over, the toilet doors read engaged as riders, mechanics and team owners alike pretended that they weren't that nervous. MX2 Moto 1 was upon us. After starting outside of the top 10, Jay Wilson worked his way quickly up the field and put this pass on Hayden Smith for third, then he really started hammering in an all out attempt to catch the leaders who had already pulled out a 7 second lead. Despite his efforts, Jay wasn't able to put so much as a dent into that 8 second buffer. Wyatt Chase took the win and robbed Hamish Harwood of a perfect season, 9 out of 12 moto wins in, and Hamish's second place was enough to secure the championship with two motos left to run. Brad Groombridge had essentially locked down second place in the championship too, but third was still open for debate, and with that podium finished, Jay had just made up four of the ten points he'd need to to take it. I felt like I had the speed, but uh, these boys just got away too early and they just could maintain that gap. So. Uh, We'll go back and uh, see what we can do and uh, come out in these next couple of motos. But like you said, it's a better start than last weekend and uh, we'll chip away from here. The 125 class lined up next and it was business as usual for the young gun, Maximus Purvis. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night so I just keep writing. Don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then I've just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine Local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in I'm fed up with so many things, you gotta just let it all out I'm talking about, they've been talking about Telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that Telling me, telling me things about rap Talking the truth and then stabbing my back, they will knock me off track No, no, too many things have been building, been hard to deal with I've just been drinking Remember my moves in the past, I'm wondering what was I thinking Lately I'm living in fear, wondering what if the end is so near All of the going on, the shootings are strong One shot to the head and I'm gone, I'm losing control But I can't let it go cause I'm trying to get more And I've been in the moment, I've been in the zone And I'm moving alone, I don't pick up the phone When my family call, I've been doing it wrong And I don't know what's happening, trying to get what I've just been imagining Getting close and I've just been examining All of the faith the game has been packaging Not only did Max absolutely dominate that first race but second in points Mason Simmons crashed out and would be sidelined for the rest of the day. This meant that though he hadn't mathematically won it yet, Max could sit the next two motos out and he'd still win the championship. What are you going to go do now? What's your sort of lead up to that you don't do anything silly? Oh, just get a good start I suppose and um, just stay consistent. Awesome mate, we'll see you up here later on. Sweet as. The big boys came out to play next. Kane Lamont had six points to make up on Kurt Gibbs and it was go time, now or never. He rounded the first corner in fifth. Not what he needed.
After making quick work of Todd Waters and Johnny Phillips for third, Kane started piling the pressure onto Kirk Gibbs. He hung off the back of the big Yamaha down the straightaway, scrubbed low over the damn jump and braked late into the right-hander, but that left him on the outside where he wasn't able to make the pass stick. He'd have to regroup and try something else. At the beginning of the moto, Kane Lamont came out swinging, but after that he just couldn't seem to match the speed of Kurt Gibbs and Cody Cooper. His championship hopes were slipping right through his fingers. With that win, Kurt Gibbs extended his points lead out to 11 points with just two motos left to run. Kane, not the result you're looking for with the championship so tight? Yeah, got off to an average start and uh, track's hard to pass unless someone makes a mistake like how um, Gibbsy got around Coops and uh, I was eating, eating a bit of dirt and ran out of tears halfway through as well so uh, I just ended up riding it out safe and um, and just putting in a third and hopefully that's good enough and start the next two better. Oh, yeah, well, it's going to be hard to win that MX1 but it's not over yet, anything can happen. Uh, need a little bit more pace, slightly better start. Max is looking good for the championship, um, and Jay's looking good for top three, so we're there or thereabouts. We just need to improve a little bit. Um, a couple of little changes for the next one, and we should be close. As the first patchy rain showers of the day started rolling in, MX2 Moto 2 was called to the line. Jay Wilson had six points to make up on Michael McGoldrick for third. With the championship in hand, Hamish Howard seemed to have thrown caution to the wind as he made his way quickly into the lead and checked out. The battle was for second place, where Moto One winner Wyatt Chase was being hunted down by Jay Wilson. After making multiple bids for the position, Jay ran out of tear-offs and had to settle for third. Not what he wanted, but with Mike and McGoldrick crashing out, he moved up to third in points, which was his goal for the day. Uh, probably like third lap, I got a rear, uh, rock stuck in my rear brake and uh, it was sort of survival then, but it seemed to pop out towards the end there and I was able to get going again and find my rhythm. So, a uh, bit unlucky, I, uh, I missed a few tear-offs and they got jammed, but uh, we'll go back out to the next moto and... Uh, We've got to make up some points, so I need a win or something like that, but uh, we'll be working hard in this last moto. With Mason Simmons out and the rain now pouring down, Maximus Purvis could take it easy. But he didn't. I come from a town where most of the people are so close-minded. They go into school and they work in a job, but they don't even like it. I won't be put in a box. Nobody telling me what I should rock. Nobody telling me what I should
you drop Cause I do what I want and just know I don't stop Recording till four in the morning, they snoring I'm pouring my soul into every story I'm writing, producing, I mix it, I master I'm building my craft and I'm not looking back I've been going doing things I wanna do when I want to Everybody wanna get away, but they not do Everybody wanna copy you, but they not you Everybody wanna be cool, but they not new Whoa, look how I go, gonna be a dentist I still got the flow, never gonna lose Cause I'm still doing both, never gonna lose Cause I've been on the road, come to your state and I'm killing the show Know that I'm young and I still gotta grow Know that I'm working the most, no I'm never gonna choke And I'm looking back down on the people below I've been keeping real, I've been doing what I feel I've been out here trying to kill every beat I know I will, everything I'm working on Every night another song, they be quiet all along They gon' notice when I'm gone And with that, Maximus Purvis became the 2018 Senior 125 champion. You got to happy with that, mate? Oh, yeah, definitely feel uh, loving it. You definitely hear it in your voice. You sound super excited. <laughs> I don't know. It's all good. When you won a championship, how do you celebrate it? Oh, I don't know. Go over beer. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's a bit old, mate. You're not MX2 yet. With 11 points to make up, Kane Lamont had to win these next two motos. It was all or nothing. There really was no other option. This was one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever filmed. Kane Lamont stuck underneath his bike, desperately kicking and shoving, trying to get it off of himself as his championship rode right past, point after hard-earned point. I can't even begin to imagine the frustration he was feeling inside that helmet. Dead last, he finally freed himself. It was comeback time. Kane was making rapid progress up the field, but he was running out of time. Kane came from last place all the way back up to ninth, and as impressive as that was, it was bad for the championship. He was now third in points behind Cody Cooper. The MX2 class lined up for their final moto, and with first and second place locked down by Hamish Harwood and Brad Groombridge, Jay Wilson just had to finish this one off strong to wrap up third place in the championship.
After another third place start, Jay looked like he was going to challenge White Chase for second once again, but he soon became unhappy with Sunk in the front end, and in no position to push, he had to back the pace off. Eventually Brad Groombridge got around him, which put him back to fourth in the moto, but that was okay. Fourth was enough to secure third place in the championship. An incredible feat, considering all of the bad luck he'd endured throughout the course of the championship. Hamish Harwood wins every race but one in the championship. Sportsman of the Year 2016, Tabo Sportsman of the Year 2017. Number two NZ for Brad Groombridge, three home in the moto, ahead of uh, Leonard J with Jay Wilson on the out there, winner system JCR, Yamaha Motor, CCRC, Demolition Supported Device. Uh, yeah, today was tough. Um, I felt like early this morning we had the speed, but um, you know, it was just didn't work out today. Um, we had a few little dramas, but other than that, it's it's good. We finished the season off, uh, got back on the podium um, after the last round. It was quite tough, and uh, we were able to get back to third in the championship. That's pretty much all we could do for today um, for the for the championship. You know, we're, second was out of hunt, and. Uh, we're sitting in fourth, so you know, all in all, I think it's uh, been a testing season, but a lot of positives. So um, we'll move on to Australia. I head back home tomorrow, and uh, yeah, excited to get home and see the family and uh, get our season started in Australia. With the championship already won, Maximus Purvis lined up at the last moto of the season to assert his dominance in the 125 class one last time. Another easy race win served as the ultimate punctuation mark on the end of an already extremely impressive championship campaign. Just happy with how this whole year's gone so far? Yeah, definitely. You want to sort of elaborate on that? You're just happy so far? Oh, nah. that was, anyway, I'll give you an easy one coming up. What's got, what do you got coming up over the next six months? Uh, going to Aussie for the full 10 rounds and go see how that goes, I suppose. And you'll be on a 254 stroke? Yeah, definitely. Awesome, mate. Good luck, and we'll see you around. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. That's your overall for the National 125 for the day. And that's our top five. Big round of applause. The final race of the day was called to the line. MX1 Moto3. Kane Lamont had three points to make up on Cody Cooper for second place in the championship. Just when his luck seemed to be turning around, Kane's day went from bad to worse when he crashed hard over on the far side of the course, concussing himself so badly that he was sick on the side of the track. It's funny isn't it? As a dream died at one end of the team, one was realised at the other, and in the middle, a bittersweet ending to a season of constant frustrations and shortcomings. 
Team Eltham, JCA, Yamaha really did experience the full spectrum at the final round of the 2018 New Zealand Motocross Championship. Yeah, it was quite a tough day. Uh, good to get the championship with Max. Jay was solid. Uh, in the end, on the podium, so that was good. And then Kane slipping to third uh, was a bit of a shame. Uh, tough day for him. I would say experience and learning how to control a championship and how to bring it home and uh, tick all the boxes. And I think today he wasn't able to do that. Um, sometimes I have to remember it's only a second year on a 450 and uh, I can't fold his effort. Um, just went back to a couple of old bad habits today, which was a shame to see after a solid start to the season. Oh, overall, you know, we won some, we lost some. Uh, we had a lot of positives to the series. Um, I can't complain too much, but of course we always want better.